On behalf of UEFA, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to Monaco for the 2023-2024 UEFA Europa Conference League Group Stage Draw. As we set sail on uh, already the third season of this great young competition, the suspense and anticipation that have brought us to this very moment will soon culminate in a series of clashes that will captivate the hearts and the minds of fans. The journey of the teams to get to this stage has been a testament to the power of teamwork, perseverance and the strong will to succeed. Like K.I. Klaxvik and Breidablik, who bring the winds of the North Atlantic to the tournament as the first clubs from the Faroe Islands and Iceland to reach the group stage of a UEFA competition. And like Zrinski Mostar, bringing their country, Bosnia and Herzegovina, also for the first time to this draw. Amazing accomplishment, once again highlighting the beauty and the fairness of UEFA Open competitions. Congratulations to the 32 clubs representing 28 countries for reaching this group phase. And a special welcome to those who will be playing in the group stage of a UEFA club competition for the very first time in their life. This is a tremendous achievement that you should be very proud of and that we wish you nothing but the best on your first European adventures, wherever they may take you. This year's final will uh, invite us to beautiful Athens on 29th May 2024, where only one team will follow in the footsteps of Ice Roma and West Ham United, who are able to end their long European trophy droughts. With that being said, we wish everyone the best of luck in this upcoming season. And uh, now we are almost ready for the draw, but almost because first we'll have to take a quick look at the technical procedure. The 32 teams have been allocated to four pots in accordance with the following principles. Pot 1 will comprise the top eight clubs in the club coefficient rankings, Pot 2 the following eight clubs in the rankings, and so on for Pots 3 and 4. Clubs from the same country cannot be drawn in the same group. For TV coverage reasons, every two clubs from the same association are paired in order to split their kickoff times, that is, one early and one late. For this reason, the eight groups will be distinguished by colours. Groups A to D will be red and groups E to H will be blue. When a paired club is drawn, for example, into a red group A to D, the other paired club, once it has been drawn, will automatically be assigned to one of the four blue groups, E to H. In addition, pairing principles will also be applied between the UEFA Europa Conference League and the UEFA Europa League. Therefore, in the case of associations with one representative in the UECL group stage and one representative in the UEL group stage, these clubs will also be paired so that their matches kick off at different times. In the case of associations with three clubs in the same competition and one in the other competition, the unpaired club will be paired with the club from the other competition. The teams of pot one will be drawn first. A ball is drawn at random and open to display the name. The team drawn is placed in the first available group in alphabetical order from A to H, as indicated by the computer. For example, if the team drawn has all eight options from A to H available, it will be automatically allocated to group A. In a similar way, if the team drawn has only six options available from C to H, it will be automatically allocated to group C, and so on. It must be noted that the number of options available to a team depends not only on the team's own attributes and those of the teams already drawn, but also the attributes of the other teams still to be drawn. This is due to the computer calculations needed to anticipate all possible scenarios and to prevent any deadlock situation. This procedure will allocate all teams of pot one to the various groups. It will then be repeated for the teams in pots two, three and four in that order. At the end of the draw, a computer will assign the final positions of the teams within each group. These positions will determine the order of the home and away matches, as well as defining which matches are played with an early or late kickoff. In this respect, the computer will ensure that stadium and city clashes are taken into account. The match calendar will be released on Saturday morning at the latest. 
Okay. The waiting's over. Here we go. The UEFA Europa Conference League group stage. 32 teams split into eight groups. And of course, pot one represents the top seeded teams, which this season include the German side, Eintracht Frankfurt, Fenerbahce from Turkey, and Lille from northeastern France. So, Giorgio, over to you. Thank you, Matt. Everything is ready, and we want to go fast. But we can't wait uh, to discover these groups. Uh, Dianos, your big hands will show us the groups. Good luck to everyone. Good luck to everyone. Team number one. Lille. The team number one uh, drawn here is uh, Losk Lille, which is allocated to group A. First group, uh, group A is the group of Losk. At the fourth appearance in a UEFA competition group stage in the last five seasons. Gent. Now it is KAA Gent, Group B for Gent. The quarter finalists of uh, this competition in 2023 appearing in all the three editions played so far of the UEFA Conference League. Dinamo Zagreb. GNK Dinamo is the third team drawn and uh, we can allocate Dinamo to Group C. 16th uh, time of Dinamo Zagreb in the group stage of uh, a UEFA competition in the last 17 seasons, so they are very regular qualifying for Europe. Club Bruges. Club Bruges, Club Brugge, Group D for Brugge, and uh, like this, we are halfway through. Brugge are finalists of the UEFA Champions Cup in 78 and the Cup Final in 1976. Alkmaar. Now we move to the Netherlands with AZ, Alkmaar, Group E for Alkmaar, semi-finalists last year in this competition. And importantly, their under-19 team won the UEFA Youth League in April this year. Ferenc Varos. Now it's uh, the turn of the champions of Hungary, Ferenc Varos. Group F is the group of uh, Ferenc Varos which are participating for the fifth successive season in a group stage. Eintracht Frankfurt. Now we go with uh, Eintracht Frankfurt, uh, winners twice of the UEFA Europa League or UEFA Cup. Group G is the group of Eintracht Frankfurt. Last team of this group is what? Fenerbahce. And we go with uh, the cup winners of Turk of Turkey, Fenerbahce. They go into group uh, H. So with this, uh, we have completed pot one. Thank you very much. So the first eight teams have been drawn. So let's move straight on to pot two, which includes last year's finalists, Fiorentina, and the 1982 European Cup winners, Aston Villa. Toby, it's over to you. Thank you, Alex. We directly start a little shuffle and then up to you, Mark, to show us the first luck, everybody. pictures and pairings we're going to see in the Conference League for this season. Slava Bratislava. SK Slovan Bratislava, the champion from Slovakia reached the round of 16 last season. They will go into Group A, and uh, they won all of their group stage matches in the last season. So we keep on. Maccabi Tel Aviv. Maccabi Tel Aviv. FC from Israel, they go into a Group B. 
reaching the knockout round playoffs in 2022. And it's their ninth appearance already in the UEFA groups, club competition group stage. So they join KAA Ghent from Belgium. And keep on to see next team of Pot 2. Aston Villa. Aston Villa FC from England. Uh, their first appearance in a group stage of the UEFA competition since 2008 and 9. They would go into Group E, where they join AZ Alkma from the Netherlands. FC Victoria. FC Victoria Pilsen from Czechia going into Group C. It's their ninth appearance of a group stage in with a club competition. And in Group C, they will be together with GNK Dynamo. Halfway through, four more. Let's see the second half of Pot 2. What four matchups they, it will bring to us. AS, ACF Fiorentina. ACF Fiorentina from Italy, of course, finalist last year, going into Group F, where they will be together with Ferenc Schwausch from Hungary and three more. Bodo Glimt. Bodo Glimt from Norway. Quarter finalists in 2022 going into Group D, where they will be with the Club Bruges from Belgium. And then we have two more left to determine the last teams of Pot 2. Park. Park FC from Greece going to Group G with Eintracht Frankfurt. They Park reaching the quarterfinals. 2022, so we have one more team left. We know who it is, we know which group they will join. So let's see to confirm it. Where? Ludogorets. Exactly. PFC Ludogorets 1945, the champion from Bulgaria, reaching the knockout round playoffs the previous season, obviously going to Group H, where they will be together with Fenerbahce from Turkey. So that's for two. Back to you. Thank you, Toby. So 16 teams have now been drawn. And just looking, there are already some tasty mm. mashups in there. If you look at Group A, Lille v Slavan Bratislava. But if you go straight down to E, right there, AZ Alkmaar taking on Aston Villa. Mm. The fans are going to be rubbing their hands already, man. They are. I think Alkmaar had to win a penalty shootout last night to make it to the group stage. Let's move on to pot three, where eight more teams await their fate, including Bezitas. Legia Warsaw and Zoria Lohansk from Ukraine. So, Giorgio and Trajanos, yes. I see you guys. Yeah, we are progressing steadily to the completion of these groups. Uh, Trajanos, uh, you will uh, now start delivering us the teams uh, and uh, we will see where they, uh, they will uh, go and to play with whom. Legia. First team drawn of pot number three is Legia Warsaw, and Legia can be allocated to Group E. And Group E means that they will play against AZ Akmar and uh, Aston Villa. Eighth time of Legia in uh, the group stage of a UEFA competition. Genk. Now from Belgium, uh, KRC Genk. And the group uh, where Genk can be allocated is Group F. F uh, together with uh, Ferenc Varos and uh, Fiorentina for uh, KSC Genk. Olympia Ljubljana. Now Olympia Ljubljana, the champions of Slovenia. First appearance in a UEFA club competition group stage. Group A is the group of Olympia where they find uh, Los Klil and uh, Slovan Bratislava. FC Zoria. Now from Ukraine, Zoria Luhansk. And the group uh, 
where so he is allocated this group B together with the KA Hent and Maccabi Tel Aviv. After Zoya, we are ready to see another team. FC Astana. From the Far East, from Kazakhstan, the champions of Kazakhstan, Astana, Group C for Astana, together with uh, Dynamo and with uh, Victoria Pilsen. Sixth appearance of Astana in a group stage. Helsinki. Now we move a little bit more up north. Uh, group G for Helsinki. That means uh, Eintracht, Frankfurt and Pauk for them as opponents. They were in the group stage of this competition already in 21 and 22. Besiktas. Now from Turkey, from Istanbul, Besiktas. Group D is the group of Besiktas together with uh, Club Brugge and uh, Bordeaux Glimt. And only one team is left for pot three. Their name is... FC Sparta Trnava. Exactly, Sparta Trnava, cup winners of uh, uh, Slovakia. First appearance, Group H of uh, uh, this group stage, together with Fenerbahce and Ludo Goritz for Sparta Trnava. Thank you very much. Eight more teams drawn and... Inevitably, some cracking ties to look forward to. There was a nice little pattern emerging in Group F with Ferenc Varos and Fiorentina. Suddenly, KLC Gank don't have an F in their name, so that pattern's been slightly spoiled. <laughs> uh, and I'm expecting, if you'll excuse the terrible pun, nothing like a slow game between Slovan Bratislava of Slovakia and the Slovenian side, Olympia Ljubljana in Group A. I'll yeah, really coach. interesting. It's all right. I was there with you, Matt. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's get on to our final pot now, which is, of course, pot four, which includes several teams making their debut in the group stage of a European competition, including Icelandic side Ryderblik and Klasovic from the Faroe Islands. Soby, it's over to you. Thank you. Indeed, the last eight teams to determine the group to start this season Conference League. Mark, up to you. Now to find the teams to conclude the groups. Mention pot for your newcomers. Klaxvik. And directly we start with one of the newcomers, Kai Klaxvik, the champion from Faroe Island. Of course, first participation of a Faroe club in a group stage. They will go to group A, where they will be together with Lille, Slovan Bratislava and Olympic Ljubljana. So that's a good start. Let's see which other groups we can conclude now. Breiderblick. Next newcomer, Breiderblick from Iceland, going to Group B. As well, the first appearance in a group stage of an UEFA club competition, and as well, the first appearance of a group stage of a team from Iceland in a current men's club competition. So that's a really good start with Group A and Group B. And now let's see for the remaining six. FC Balkani. FC Balkani from Kosovo, the champion from Kosovo going into Group C with GNK Dynamo, Torea Pilsen and FC Astana. Kosovo, uh, FC Balkani as well in the group stage in the previous season. So, See which other group we can determine. Zlinski. HSK Zlinski from Bosnia Herzegovina, the champion there. They are joining in Group E, and they are the first club from Bosnia Herzegovina joining the group stage of the UEFA Cup competition. So they're joining in Group E with Alkma, Aston Villa, and Legia Warsaw. FK Czuriczki. FK Czuriczki. There is their first appearance in the group stage of a current UEFA club competition. And they're going to Group F, where they will be together with Ferenc Vaus, Fiorentina and KSC Genk from Belgium. Uh, 
Aberdeen. Aberdeen FC from Scotland, they joining in Group G together with Eintracht Frankfurt, Pauk and AJK Helsinki. So we have two more, two more groups open as well. These are the teams which are remaining. FC Lugano. And FC Lugano from Switzerland joining Group D with Group Bruch, Bodo Glimt and Besiktas. It's actually the third appearance of FC Lugano in an UEFA club competition group stage. So now one more team left. We know where they will go. FC Nordschland. FC Nordschland from Denmark. They are joining Group H where they will be together with Fenerbahce, PFC Ludogorets and FC Spartak Trana. So that concludes all of the groups and therefore back to you. <laughs> it sure does. Thank you. And so there we have it. The draw for the UEFA Europa Conference League group stage is now complete. And some really interesting standout ties to look forward to, Matt. Shall we recap? Definitely. Yep. In the top half, uh, as has been mentioned by Giorgio and Toby, some debutants that will be very excited fans from Clarksvik and the Faroe Islands thinking about trips to Slovakia, Slovenia, and obviously to Lille in France, similarly in Group B for Breidablik from Iceland. They're off to Zoria, who obviously may not well play in Ukraine, for the time being at least, to uh, Israel to play Maccabi and KAA Ghent. And a little further down in Group C and D, uh, Balkani from Kosovo, another debut team, uh, to playing Astana from Kazakhstan, as well as Pilsen and Dinamo Zagreb. So some real European pedigree in that group. While Bruges, the top team in Group D, have Bodo Glimp from Norway, Besiktas of Turkey, and Lugano from Switzerland. So again, quite a power-packed group in the bottom half. Aston Villa, with Unai Emery now in charge. Alkmaar, mentioned that's quite the tie. And Legia Vosor and Zrinski from Mostar in Bosnia, another debut team in Group E. In F, Benic Varos Fiorentina, we talked about the Fs. And then Genk and Cukarički, which is easy for a lad from Liverpool to say, from Serbia in Group F and Group G. Eintracht and Pauk Trianos, I'm sure, was interested to see how that group emerged with Helsinki and Aberdeen. Uh, and then Fenerbahce at the top of Group H with Ludogorets, Spartak Trnava from Slovakia and Nordjylland from Denmark. Yes, yeah, some great matchups there. Well, it's a massive thank you to our special guest who joined us for the draw, Trianos Delas, and to Mark Noble, and of course to Giorgio and Toby. Thank you so much. Well, the UEFA Europa Conference League group stage will be kicking off on the 21st of September, and we wish you all the very best of luck to all 32 teams. Okay, just remains to say that from Alex, from myself, and of course to everybody here in Monaco, thank you very much for your company. Bye for now.